Hi everyone, hope you are having a good day. So just like many of you, I also love Shatsian. One of the best part of Shatsian is it's kind of like a Lego. You can just pick and choose components based on your need. It does come with a lot of components uh, that is suitable for most scenarios, but sometimes you just need something extra, right? And that's where a lot of third party Shatsian based uh, extensions come in. So in this video, I will share some of my favorite ones with you, starting with Twixian, which is a visual theme editor. It makes your life so much easier to work with Shatsian themes. As you know, the default themes are like very limited. To get started, you can just go to start customizing. And here you can pick between the themes uh, like I really love this one, Cyberpunk. And there's a bunch of other ones, uh, like I don't know, Modern Minimal. And you can see how it looks uh, on a real UI, like the dashboards, the mail, pricing. Uh, looks pretty cool, right? And you can see the color palette as well, like what's used for background, foreground, primary, primary foreground, like all these themes that you typically see in a uh, Shatsian website. You also have options to customize the colors from here, from these color pickers. You can also use the AI to uh, generate your color palettes. And once you have picked your theme, you can just go to code and you will see the theme for uh, Shatsian. You can just copy it here and paste it in your global CSS and you should be good to go. Or you can use this Shatsian registry to install it from the CLI. Next, we have this GitHub registry called Awesome Shatsian UI. It's a curated list of awesome things related to Shatsian. So you'll find a lot of projects listed here that is either based on Shatsian or somehow related to Shatsian. In fact, some of the tools that I will mention in this video are from this registry. They also have a cool website where you can filter and see the products. Like if you filter through category, there are plugins, animations, tools, portfolios. Uh, let's click on animations and these are the projects for animation like magic UI design is a pretty cool tool so yeah definitely a website worth checking out if you use Shatsian number three we have table CN now I know what you're thinking that Shatsian already has a table right but the table Shatsian has uh, let me check it out it looks very basic right which is probably fine for most use cases but sometimes you just need something extra and that's where table CN comes in. You have options for checkbox. Uh, you can also have advanced filters. You can filter by different status. Another great thing is if you select an item, you can see an action bar pop up here where you can perform a bunch of actions, right? I can update the status, uh, mark it as done and you'll see it updated. You can also sort things from here. You also, it also have action button from here. So if you want to edit or delete items, you can do that. And of course it has both light and dark mode. Um, so yeah, do check it out if you are looking for an advanced table. Next we have plate JS, which is my favorite rich text editor. Let me show you why. So if you scroll down, uh, you can see an example here. Uh, I can write everything I want. All this normal stuff, I can make it bold, make it increase size, uh, I don't know, decrease size, whatever I want to do, right? But here's a great part. Type slash, you have a bunch of options to choose from. I can select an inline date, which is exactly like how Notion does, right? I'm personally a big Notion fan and this library just makes it so easy to just have a notion like editor in just a few minutes. You just copy this command and all the code should be copied in your code base. Pretty cool, right? It has all the features you would expect from a text editor. Like you can just add a table. And I think we can add a row from here. And we can just keep adding more columns if you want. You can add more rows if you want. Uh, pretty easy, right? Uh, great tool, love it. If you are looking for that notion like editor, but for email, you should check out this cool project called mainly.to, which is basically the same thing, but for email. To show you an example, you can just open editor from here. And here you can see an example email. It has 
few headers, a button. Let's try to add something else. And you can see all the options it has. Uh, you can add your logos, inline image, sections, dividers. Okay, let's add a quotation. And if everything looks good here, you can preview the email. So this is how it will look uh, on the email view. And then when you are done, you can just close this and copy this HTML, paste it in your project and start sending email to your customers or users, if you have any. Shatsian components are great, but it's also very generic. So if you are looking to make your website a little unique, you should check out Retro UI, which is inspired by Neo Brutalism design system. So uh, it can make your website look very lively or playful. So let's check out some components. Uh, like this is how a typical button looks like. This is a card looks like. Here we have an example of an e-commerce card. And if you like it, you can just see the code from here. And if you want to install, you can just copy this and paste it in your terminal and the code should be installed in your project. Just like installing any other Shatsian component. It has pretty much all the major components, but if you want something extra, you should check out Retro UI Blocks which offers a lot of pre-made blocks uh, based on Retro UI. Like you can see the cards. This is an e-commerce card. Here's a profile card. Another profile card. A course card. So full disclosure, I am the creator of Retro UI. So if you decide to use Retro UI, great. It is a totally free and open source project. But if you want to support me and the channel, then do check out Retro UI Pro which gives you access to all these blocks, uh, templates, and the Figma UI kit for only 99. Uh, it is for limited time only. I will increase it to 149 in next few days. So make sure to check it out. Last but not the least, we have Tremor. Hope I am saying it right. Tremor is very similar to Shatsian, but focused on more analytical components. So you can see the headings, React components to build charts and dashboards. And if you see the examples, here are the area charts, bar charts, there's also donut charts. So there's like lots of different options. So if you are using Shatsian and want some analytical components, uh, you should check out Tamer. And I think Tamer was recently bought by Vercel. So you know it works with the whole Next.js uh, ecosystem well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any other tool that I didn't mention, make sure to leave them in the comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.